Welcome to the Battle Drill Devotional Podcast with Captain Rob Westwood Payne. Today is Monday the 9th of October. This week on the Battle Drill Daily Devotionals podcast, we explore what it means to be truly happy. Often the so-called Beatitudes at the beginning of Jesus' Sermon on the Mount are seen as the demands of the kingdom. In other words, be poor in spirit, be mournful, be humble and so on, and God will be pleased with you and allow you to enter his kingdom. But the Beatitudes are more like words of grace. The word often translated as blessed in this passage can better be translated as, oh, how happy. Jesus is saying those who are made happy by God realize their need for him, are comforted by him, and will inherit the the earth, and so on. So this week, we focus on what it looks like to be made happy by God. passage can be found in Matthew chapter 5 and verses 1 to 12, and we read from the Good News Translation. The Sermon on the Mount Jesus saw the crowds and went up a hill where he sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are those who mourn. God will comfort them. Happy are those who are humble. They will receive what God has promised. Happy are those whose greatest desire is to do what God requires. God will satisfy them fully. Happy are those who are merciful to others. God will be merciful to them. Happy are the pure in heart. They will see God. Happy are those who work for peace. God will call them his children. Happy are those who are persecuted because they do what God requires. The kingdom of heaven belongs to them. Happy are you when people insult you and persecute you and tell all kinds of evil lies against you because you are my followers. Be happy and glad, for a great reward is kept for you in heaven. This is how the prophets who lived before you were persecuted. Amen. Many of us have to deal with tragedy at some point in our lives, whether it's the loss of a job or career, possessions such as in a house fire, or the loss of loved ones. There are times at the moment when we feel surrounded by tragedy. When we do, we can feel very many strong emotions. Grief, anger, loss of purpose or motivation, fear, depression, anxiety, and sometimes even guilt. If we don't deal with powerful emotions like this, then they can take a very long time to recover from. I've known people who have never truly dealt with their emotional response to a tragedy in their life, and they're still suffering the effects over 20 years later. Being happy doesn't mean walking around with a smile plastered on your face. That would be weird if you just suffered a tragedy. It's okay to grieve, even as a Christian. But when it comes to discovering how to release grief... Jesus tells us that God can make people who are mourning happy because he will comfort them. When we are mourning, we can cry out to him, we can shout at him if needs be, and he will listen. As he listens, we begin to release our grief and other strong emotions, and our healing begins. As you reflect on these thoughts today, you might want to use these questions to help you. Have you struggled with grief or other strong emotions? 
and how do you think that has affected you? I hope to see you tomorrow for another Battle Drill Daily Devotional as we reflect on the fact that meekness doesn't equal weakness. If you would like to subscribe to Captain Rob's Battle Drill Devotional, wherever you choose to listen to podcasts, or if you'd like to receive them direct to your inbox, head to www.equippinghispeople.com forward slash devotional and follow the instructions.